Hello guys. Today we are going to learn how to create a bottom bar with MOOC in Unity. So let's get into it. I have this simple URP scene from the previous video. I have already installed MOOC. And I have this button from the last video. Let me move it, so it won't overlap with the bottom bar. Right click in the hierarchy, go to MOOC and select the bottom bar. It will create a bottom bar canvas for us. Just like the nav bar canvas, it's an overlay canvas for the bottom bar, since it's going to be always on top of other UIs. Inside the bottom bar canvas, we have a container, and inside the container, we have the actual bottom bar, we can customize the bottom bar here. As always, we have the platform type and dark mode. Then we have the selected index, let me zoom in. It starts from zero, so if we set it to one, the second tab will get selected. And two for the third tab. Let me set it back to zero. Then we have the is set active after selected. Let me enter play mode and show you what it does. If I click the second tab, the second tab will get selected. If I click the first tab, it will get selected. But if I untick the option, now if I click the second button, it will not get selected. So it's for when you just want to fire the call back for the tab, but don't want to set the tab selected. Let me exit play mode. Then of course we have the override background color. Let's change the background to our favorite color, red. And the nav bar has disappeared. That's because all the canvases are using the same sorting layer, let's increase the sorting for the bottom bar canvas. It will appear again. Let me set back the background color. Then we have the override idle color, it is the color for tabs that are not selected. Let me change the color to black. You will see that the second and third tabs change to black. And if I change the selected index to 1, then the first and third tabs will change to black. Let's undo everything. After that, we can override the selected color. It is the opposite of the idle color, it's the color for the selected tab. Let's change it to red. Let's change for iOS 2, and see how it looks. Reset. Then we have the callback on selected. But we will talk about it later. Let's focus on the bottom bar item. We can have up to 5 items in the bottom bar. For this example, we only need 2. Let's change the second one's title to profile. And set the profile image for the item. We can set it for both iOS and material. Then we can set if we want to show a notification badge. For example, we can have 9 unread messages for the profile page. Let's undo that. MOOC bottom bar has a callback event for when the items are clicked. Let's create a script for that. Go to the scripts folder, right click, and create a new script. Let's call it bottom bar controller. Actually, we can just use the scene controller, since we just want to navigate between scenes. Let me delete the newly created script and edit the scene controller script. Let's go to the script. Add a new function call, on bottom bar selected. It will take an integer as a parameter, and inside the function, we will just check if the index is 1, meaning the second tab, then we will go to the second scene. Let's go back to Unity. Select the bottom bar object. Add an event for the on selected field and drag the controller object to the object slot. And select the function we just created. 
Note, we need to select the function from the dynamic int, since we are passing the parameter from the event. Let's enter play mode. Click the profile button in the bottom bar, it will load the second scene. When we go back, the second item is selected, that's why we need to set the is set active after selected to false, so the first item will stay selected for the home page. And now go to the profile page and go back, the home button stays active. But we don't have a bottom bar for the second scene. Let's fix that. Exit play mode. Drag the second scene to the hierarchy. Duplicate the bottom bar from the home page and drag that to the second scene. Rename the object. Go to the actual bottom bar. The on selected is referring to the home page's controller, so it will not work when we hit play. Let's remove that. Create a new object in the second scene and rename it to controller. Drag the scene controller script to it and reset the position. Let's modify the function so it supports going back to the home page. We just need to add an else block in the code. If the index is not 1, we will go to the home page. Go back to Unity. Select the bottom bar object. And set the selected index to 1. Untick the is set active after selected. And add the on selected event. Then we can save and remove the second scene. We set the is set active after selected to false for the home page too. Enter play mode. Click the profile button. It will load the profile scene. And if we click the home page button, it will go back to back home. We can set the notification badge for the bottom bar using code too. Let's modify the scene controller script since we are already working on it. Let's create a serialized field. MOOC bottom bar. And create the start function. If the bottom bar is not null. Bottom bar dot set badge. It takes two parameters button index and number. We want to show the badge for the first item, and show the number 9. Let's go back to Unity. Select the controller object. And drag the bottom bar object to the field we just created. Do the same for the profile scene too. Let's enter play mode. We will see the profile button has a notification badge with the number 9. Go to the profile page, which also has the badge. Let's see how it looks on iOS UI. Go to MOOC. MOOC setting. MOOC app data. Select the object. Change the platform type to iOS. Enter play mode. Click the profile button. Let me change the button color to red too, just to match the theme. No need the stroke. Nice. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.